If you're being asked to graph y equals 2, there's two ways you can think about this. The first way is to think about this as though it was y equals mx plus b. y equals mx plus b is the equation of a line, and you'll find the y-intercept, b, as the bare number, which actually for us is positive 2. And the slope m is the number that's in front of x. Oh, well, I don't have an x here, and that's because the coefficient on x is 0. 0 times anything is 0, and so why would you even bother writing it? What that means is I have a y-intercept of 2 and a slope of 0. What I want you to do is to graph that like you would any y equals mx plus b equation. Put your y-intercept uh, as your first dot. The y-axis is the up-down axis, and my y-intercept is 2. I'm going to put a dot there, and then I'm going to use the slope to generate more points. Now, 0 as a fraction can be written 0 over 1. The reason I do that is to show you that there is still a rise and a run here. To generate more points, we are going to rise zero units, and we're going to run one, which means go to the right by one. So I want from this point, I want you to go up zero, and then write one. And then from there, I want you to go up zero and write one. Up zero, write one. Up zero, write one. Over and over and over and over again. And it's probably very clear what the line is now, but if you were going to backtrack here, You'd reverse both of those, so you'd go down zero and left one, down zero, left one, down zero, left one, over and over and over and over again. Okay, this is setting the record for how many dots I put on a graph. Because you're being asked to draw a graph or graph the line, I want you to connect your points with a ruler, put arrows on both sides to show that it goes infinitely. And now we get to the shortcut. If you have an equation y equals some number, like a constant, there's no x's, that is by definition a horizontal line. <laughs> so you could probably just slap a horizontal line down, make sure it goes through 2 and not some other number, because then that number would have been different, and call it a day. y equals 5 as an example, I guarantee you is just like a horizontal line that happens to go through 5. That wasn't asked here, but that's just the way it is. That's a horizontal line, and lots of people who know math just know that. So why don't you memorize it too? It can save you some time. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.